Hello everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood Swanee. We are back with our page we created last week and we are going to add drop shadows to make some elements just pop out. Okay, make sure you're on the element you want to pop. I'm on Jen Maddox's Autumn Aura Fairy and then we're going to go down to the bottom where there's the layers palette. We explored that and now we're going to go to the styles palette. The very top of the styles palette. So top right, click on the teeny tiny arrow and then pick drop shadows. All you're going to do is pick a shadow and I am picking the soft edge drop shadow and that's it. Ta-da! Drop shadow on my fairy. Okay, let's go back to the layers palette. Boom, there we are. Pick a different element. I'm going to pick this October word art. It's called J Mad Autumn Aura Woof 4. And then we're going to click back over bottom right to the styles palette. There it is. We're still on drop shadows. So if we just pick a new drop shadow, and I am going to pick a hard edge. I like that better for word arts. I have a third element I want to shadow. So I'm going to go back over to the layers palette. And now I could select my element, which is going to be this scatter these gold stars up there. But instead of going back to the styles palette, I'm going to go back to the fairy element. I'm going to, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go and copy the layer style. Then I'm going to click on the scatter element, right click on that. And from the drop down, I'm going to pick paste layer style. Ta-da! I've got the exact same shadows continuity and I'm done without switching between the two palettes. And that's it on shadowing. I want to give a huge shout out to Jen Maddox and our lovely Autumn Aura. That's what I use today. Have fun scrapping and I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.